Hi and welcome to another Power BI feature update by Wardy IT Solutions. For this update we'll be looking at a number of features, creating running totals using DAX, creating running total by month using quick measures, we'll look at the colour scale conditional formatting which is a new Power BI feature, uh, some data bars, conditional formatting for a matrix or a table, and responsive visuals. So let's get started. We get asked by our clients often to create a running total for the end of the financial year. So as you can see, we've got uh, totals for an invoice date, and we've created a measure using the DAX formula dates year to date. So we'll just take a look at that measure. Quite simply it's using the dates year to date using June 30th as the end of year format. Total invoice amount measure and the dates year to date DAX syntax, we can create a running total for dates year to date. We've also got a month year to date using the same syntax but simply dates month year to date. As you can see, the running total is calculated correctly on the end of the financial year. If we use that in a table which is aggregating by month, you can see that it's not giving a correct year-to-date total. So let's go ahead and create another quick measure based on the month. If this looks complicated, uh, don't be concerned. This is a quick measure which is automatically created by Power BI model. Now I'll show you quickly how to do that. So if we go to our field, go up to quick measures, we get a dialog box. So we can select the type of measure that we want. In this case it's a running total. It's going to calculate on the total invoice amount and we'll use the month name which is a defined period as the value for the measure to be based on. Click OK and you can see this syntax that's created. Power BI goes ahead and creates that measure for us. Now when we drag that into our visual Just open this up a little. And you can see now we are calculating correctly a running total by month. Added to this model is a period table which calculates a defined period according to a date range based off of today. So if we select the defined period financial year year to date, our date range is filtered which then filters the dates of the visual. If we wanted to select a different defined period such as financial year last year, the date range gets readjusted and our dates, invoice dates and our month names are adjusted accordingly. You can see the month names are in the correct order for a financial year. If we select the calendar year, year to date, the month names are reordered and our date range is restricted accordingly. We also have a month name slicer. We could select one or many months and our date range is going to be restricted accordingly. So a very handy and useful way of dynamically filtering dates. The next feature I'd like to uh, point out is the colour scales. Conditional formatting for a table or a matrix. 
So it's very simple to enable. Let's go to the formatting section of the visualization. We'll open up conditional formatting and simply turn color scales on. So that will automatically add a color gradient according to the value. The next feature I'd like to point out is the data bars, which under the conditional formatting section again is a simple on off. So data bars adds a bar according to the value right next to your value in your table. So really handy and quick visual way of determining rank between particular categories. Last visual I'd like to talk about is the responsive visuals feature which is a preview it must be enabled in the options section and this enables us to resize our visuals and the axes and labels will shrink up accordingly according to the size of the the box really handy for mobile mobile devices so you can see that as I shrink up the visual the uh, content changes accordingly another feature that has just been released is the ability to rename axes so rather than having to rename a field you can see that this field is quite large and uh, long takes up a lot of space we can go to the value in the visualization and simply click in there rename which is uh, very handy for saving space so I'm going to rename this to year to date have it uh, take up a lot less space you can see our column chart is now showing year to date rather than the running total for the month name field name we'll go ahead and rename the field for the table as well so click in the fields and simply rename it you can see now that once we scroll across to the right our field is considerably smaller and will take up a lot less space we can resize this table now shrink that up and uh, give ourselves some room so a really handy feature and one that I'm sure will be very popular with a lot of people The defined periods and the period table is an ad adaptation of uh, some work done by some colleagues, so uh, their details are there. If you'd like to uh, build a defined period for yourself, go check out those links. So that's all we have for this uh, edition. Hope you like those features and uh, I look forward to showing you some more Power BI next time. Thanks for watching.